Aquarius. Third time is the charm. All right, so this is third time trying to do your love reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's me, it's Elle. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Um, thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let me take a drink of water. Then let's get into it. I'm going to get into the channel messages for the third time. Third time's the charm. Three, three, three. Some of you could be seeing that. Three, three. What is it? Communication. Communication. And it's a three. Um, outside party. You know? I don't know. Third party. Uh it's also it's also the masculine and the feminine and that divine spark so i know some of you could be dealing with uh your divine masculine divine feminine i don't really get into all of that and i'm not saying that uh it's not real i just don't you know i don't get into it uh for me for me i feel like it complicates things when people are looking for clarity about their life and relationships i feel like it complicates the message in terms of trying to get number one you know clarity knowledge about what's going on with them we're now placing all these labels on it until we're now the person is sidetracked trying to figure out is this my divine masculine or divine feminine when you should be trying to get the lesson out of what's going on with you right now so for me i feel like it complicates i feel like if you're well versed and seasoned in spirituality in tarot card reading in astrology and you've you're not a baby in this then yeah, you can, you know, it, it doesn't phase you and you understand, you know, the nature of divine masculine, divine feminine and uh, twin flame soulmate this or whatever. You understand that and you don't get sidetracked with that. Um, but the babies coming into, you know, this this sector, I think it really, compl it overcomplicates things. So I don't get into it. And it, because I know initially for me years ago when I first got into this complicated things for me I'm just like well do I stay because it's my divine man what, what's going on you know so anyway that was a whole rant I don't know why I ranting I normally don't I think you all know that um anyway the, uh channel messages what I got for you shuffling off camera was um cycles things being cyclical i also heard this shit again so it's like i don't know if you got into something again maybe with the same person or different person same shit you know um in terms of love because this is a love reading uh so i don't know if you're you're going through the same shit again aquarius and it might be you know uh, that you need to learn some key components some key lesson here um, that will help you unlock because keys unlock you know unlock uh why you met why you're in why this why that if you know the why then you can get out of it right if you don't know why you stay stuck in confusion so anyway um that's what i got off camera for you uh some of you um i think you you got it to where um you're you're walking away or you have walked away from some relationship you just finished up and left like you know it's it's just not worth the hassle anymore i'm i'm terribly unhappy and dissatisfied with what i'm getting also you spent your wheels with somebody you just kept going over 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 like a wheel goes over and you know a wheel goes in a circle and you just kept going over and over with this person no change same shit no change and you just 
after a while, after you doing something like that, right? If I keep walking in a circle and I'm not going anywhere, I'm not getting anywhere, I'm not accomplishing anything. Am I trying to turn myself into a human tornado? What am I doing while I'm walking in a circle? Am I walking slow? Am I walking fast? It's, you're not doing anything. You're not, it's not productive. Therefore, you felt at times powerless, Aquarius. We as people, we have to be working towards something. And when we're not, then we feel powerless because we put all of this force into something to get for it to not work. And now we feel like we don't have any power. So it's that's how you feel or you felt in some connection because I see some of you walking out of it or haven't haven't already walked out of it. Let's see how your person is showing up because a lot of you are here for specific people and that's okay. Let's see how this person is showing up to the connection. Some of you are going to meet a new person, a new soulmate here. Um, okay, how is this person showing up in the reading? How is the person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for? How are they showing up? How is this person showing up for the Aquarius? Now they don't want to talk. The last two readings, they had a lot to say. How is this person showing up for the Aquarius? How is this person? Okay. The three of pentacles. All right. So they're showing up as um, wanting to work on this. Again, they feel like this is um, with you putting work into this connection. It's the right thing to do. They feel like it won't be energy, time, money, devotion wasted. They feel like their talents, their efforts will be being put to good use. Like you guys are in the initial stages or stage of creation or creating something. With the three of pentacles, they feel like you guys need to learn how to um, share your life with one another. You also need to do something. You need to do something tangible with one another. Like, um, I don't know, you know, move in, start a business, something w that holds you guys together in terms of the, the tangible, the world, the 3D. So they feel like there's no glue that binds you, you two together. Is that's why I may, it might be so easy for you or this person to walk away because there's nothing that's holding y'all together. I mean, y'all don't even have a Hulu subscription together. I mean, y'all don't have nothing together. Um, let's see for some of you, you know, um, how is this person coming to the connection? How is this person of interest? Okay. The 10 of cups. Yeah. So they feel like, look, you make them very happy. Um, they feel like they make you very happy. They want to call a truce. Okay. Call a truce to the turbulence and the drama that's been going on between the two of you. Um, your person feels like they want to start anew. Okay, they want to come to you, uh, something like redefining their self identity, how they're presenting themselves to you and the world. They want to re reshape that. The tens talk about expert, masculine energy, long term goal fulfillment. This person could even want a family with you. Uh, they feel like with you, th there's so much opportunity. The stage is set for happiness for harmony um they feel like they want to after all of this difficulty you guys need to just come into a more fortunate place of being with one another okay how does this person how is this person showing up to the reading um judgment in the seven of cups you definitely could be dealing with a scorpio this person uh so this person could already have a family here um they know that they have to make some decision here. Damn, definitely could be dealing with Scorpio. Got a tower under the, the deck. Um, this person wants you, or they want you both to make some snap decision about coming back together, second chance, renewal. The Seven of Cups here says that fantasy, they have you in their fantasy. At first, it was a fantasy. Maybe they want to make something real. All of a sudden, these emotions that they have or they have, they have been holding in, it's welling up to the top of them. They can't hold this anymore. 
They feel like you, um, you are the perfect match for them. But the relationship started wrong. I don't know what the wrong was. If they already had somebody, you had somebody, I don't know if they were, they didn't have any intentions for the connection. And then down the line, they wanted to change that, which, um, you know, now is, uh, all of a sudden they want to do something different, sudden upheaval for this person. Um, forgiveness. They want forgiveness here for maybe not taking you serious for taking advantage also for telling you the lies, uh, playing the games maybe for emotionally manipulating you this person again this could be somebody who already has a family or had a family i don't know they could still be wanting to come back to you and already have someone or something uh, but they they want this back again sometimes the three of pentacles can represent a long-term love affair so no no real status change like in the four of pentacles but the three of pentacles where we're just always creating we're always in that creation phase what are we creating nothing at this point because we, we won't get out of this phase okay um also there's somebody else there you know in that three of pentacles or there's some other energy there um so that's how your person is showing up to the reading, okay? Let's see how Aquarius is showing up. How is Aquarius showing up to the reading? How is Aquarius showing up? To, okay, justice. Aquarius is uh, showing up to the reading by way of the justice card. Getting justice. Um, Aquarius, this is a major arcana. So I don't, by way of the universe, you're getting justice. You're getting what's due unto you. And this person is getting what's due unto them. Therefore, you're doing much of nothing. You're just letting the dust settle. Because if this person treated you unfair, because sometimes the justice card can talk about unfair treatment. Therefore, the justice will show up and make all wrongs made right. Um, we can even talk about apology or someone feeling indebted to you, either monetarily or energetically, karmically, karma, you know, karmic debt, where they feel like they need to work off something with you. You also felt like maybe this was a karmic situation where you had to learn something and work this energy off. Therefore, you can unlock and go to the next level here. Um, you do feel like there was unfair treatment. Um, and this person is going to get what they deserve by way of the universe. Um, they can't skirt around this. They can't run away from what is due to them. Okay. Um, how is Aquarius showing up to, you could be winning also for some of you, if this is, you know, divorce and separation, you could be winning in terms of legal matters. Or, or getting what's due to you, okay? Um, how is Aquarius showing up to the... Wow, the King of Wands. Very nice. Leadership. So you took the lead on this, okay? Um, you said, you know what? Uh, I need to go after my heart's desire because the affirmation of the King of Wands is I want or I desire. So you started to also your heart chakra is coming up. You started to open up to the fact that maybe you weren't going after your desires. You were making somebody else's desire for you, this relationship, what you wanted, or you were trying to settle in their idea for you. You were trying to settle in it like, well, just, you know, be my side girl or my side dude or we could just date each other for 10 years and it go nowhere. You were trying to settle in that energy, um, but you then unlocked, you know, I don't know, something about your heart chakra. Maybe you unlocked your heart chakra, your desire to uh, move forward, 
okay uh desire to go after what it is you want okay um you also um are showing up in this reading as maybe an entrepreneur a uh, very independent delegation or, or delegating or um a mystic uh here also uh, psychic abilities being heightened um a, a mini magician because i feel like the king of wands is under the magician um you're manifesting uh there could be uh, i mean a lot is going on for you right now aquarius it looks like you're showing up just going after your heart's desire design design element i don't know what that's about some of you could design something a designer or how is the Aquarius showing up to the reading? How is Aquarius showing up to the reading? Wow, the Empress. So some of you started something new here. It could be a new relationship. Um, you're birthing something here into reality, into 3D. You, you took something from nothing and you made it happen here. Um, this is like entrepreneurial endeavor. You could be dating someone um or someone new you know coming to your life uh but it looks like you're increasing opportunity for yourself now that could be in love that can also be in career and finance but you're create creating opportunity for yourself um in increasing visibility don't know what that's about aquarius let me know down in the comments um you, you're coming into your abundant, flourishing nature. You're coming into an understanding that you can create the life that you want. You don't have to settle into. Not settle for, but settle into. Like somebody creates this opportunity or this space for something or someone in their life they have an idea of how this person will show up in their life and what the, what their role is and it's like the aquarius either didn't know or did know but they settled into that role and they didn't have to do that okay um your person could have already had made up in their mind that you were going to be a side piece or just uh friends with benefits or um you know somebody that they would string along okay because they already had something created in their life they already they had space for exactly what they wanted and they tried to make you settle into it aquarius make you believe that this is uh this is what you deserve or this is good enough this person tried to dumb down who you were and your worth and maybe you tried to play ball with it, but I think you woke up to the fact that this is not worth it. How is the Aquarius showing up? Wow, the Eight of Pentacles. You're definitely working on a business. Um, some of you are going to get married later in life. It'll be married, marriage and travel later in life. You're dedicated to seeing something through. You're dedicated to the in and the out. The wash, rinse, repeat. The cycle. Of, of making something self-sustaining or yeah making something uh work all on its own but right now you have to be very hands-on with it that could be business this is a love reading um yeah i think aquarius you coming also you're waking up to the fact that this was a cycle here in terms of this person you invested so much and got so little out of it and you felt powerless at the end of the day at the end of the relationship you felt like you had given your power away to this person it's like they were um trying to again not trick you but just co you know coerce you into believing that this is good enough this is good enough yeah like um they got and then um i don't know the relationship was going in and out and off and on the communication was off at times and then it was on and this person was on fire for you 
then they were cold. It's almost as if they were trying to energetically, emotionally manipulate you. Will Aquarius chase me if I am erratic and sporadic with my uh, my actions, my movement? Will this person always be stuck, you know, hanging in there, confused about what it is I want with them? Will Aquarius allow this unfair treatment and will they stay is what this person was uh you know, I don't know. They were very calculated. I don't, I'm hearing calculated from the fact that they already had this formation for what they, what type of person they wanted to come into their life. They already had this little role, this place for this person. And it happened to be you Aquarius that came into their life. Um, and then they, they tried to, they saw your worth and they were like, wow, I got this. It's almost like you put your, you throw your fishing line out. And you might, you don't have all these big reservations for what you're going to pull in. But then you pull in a big fish. A big, you're like, wow. I got to, I got to keep this going. Whatever I'm doing, I got to keep it going. You know, um, it's like this person didn't expect to to get someone like you and of your caliber to actually play ball with them for as long as as you did or as you didn't. I don't know, um, but they just didn't expect. And so they had to always come up with these new different strategies of trying to keep you um, interested or chasing or in an energy of confusion, because in confusion, you don't make a decision. You stay, you stay stuck in confusion. So a lot of times people will try to confuse you. It's like a magician. Look over here. Don't look over there. As the magician is doing something over here, they want you to look over there. So it's like this person was just very calculated. A mini magician. Anyhow, um, let's see over in the extended. What's new coming to mind? Well, you know what? Let's see what this person wants to tell the Aquarius. And then we will talk about the new energy coming in for Aquarius. Because off camera, when I was shuffling, uh, this is the third time me doing this reading. Um, I got that, um, you know, this was a very significant relationship here where you guys were destined to meet and you met. Now, you are destined to meet, learn a lesson, hopefully with one another, transcend, ascend, move together, you know, forward together, maybe even run off into the sunset and be, live happily ever after. But it looks like one of you just didn't, you didn't get the memo. Um, somebody just didn't wake up to how significant this connection is or was. Um, Therefore, um, they had to come up as, you know, playing mind games, tricks. I think a, a Aquarius came to the relationship very genuine. And this person came playing games, manipulative, deceptive, because that's what they're used to doing. And that's what, who they're used to finding. They're used to finding the small fish. And they caught the big fish, which was Aquarius, and they couldn't trust it. Okay? They couldn't trust it because they did you know, it's like, how did I catch this big fish? Therefore, they, they didn't show up how they should have shown up. They didn't learn the lesson here. Um, deep down inside, this person could have been praying for someone real, someone true, a true love, a real love. And they got it and they messed it up. Always be careful what you pray for and ask for because you might not be ready for it. And it seems as if maybe there was an individual here either you Aquarius or the other person. And let me speak to that. These readings go to several different people. Okay. Um, I would love to think that all of my Aquarius are angels out there, but we just know that is not real and that is not true. So when I say either you Aquarius or the other person, that's because there is some Aquarius out there who just aren't in their highest vibration right now and we could be speaking to that Aquarius so don't 
type down in the comment section about it was the other person it was the other person please don't do that stop wasting your time doing that like go and go somewhere and grow and learn lesson okay and if it wasn't you it wasn't you move on i see why you're single i, see, I do I, I see because you can't even control the impulse to write something that only governs you this reading is not a personal reading it's a general one it's a general one for several people so please stop getting super personal down in the comment section about how this and that no one really cares especially when it is coming from a place of negativity now if you want to spread your testimony in terms of how it resonates and how you're moving forward by all means but i understand why some readers have comments turned off because it's it's not even about me i don't care because i really don't like it would take so much to move me but anyway um i'm just you know frustrated for the other people who have to read it and then also it just spams the damn comment section you know it's like come on stop stop this have a high vibration people over here if you're not vibing high please leave and i ask that all of the other subscribers or people down in the comment section if you see negativity if you're reading negativity please in in droves ask that person to leave don't come back don't watch because this is about positivity over here and growth that's why i go into death into these reading and in these readings and really talk more about lessons and learning um and give other small tidbits it's not all about just re reading reading the tea you know i mean that's fun and i watch those readings too but um come on people this is a channel for people who really want to get out of bullshit if you want to stay in it then um yeah you can i again no one cares not not me no one on the channel cares because we don't know you so stop it we don't it's not that we don't care because we don't care for you we just don't know you so act as if we're all strangers because innately we are okay we initially technically we are we're strangers i don't know who that was for but it blessed somebody's soul if not mine yours uh we're in 27 minutes what does this person want to say to the aquarius the eight of cups um they're making some big emotional decision to walk away from something that doesn't fulfill them maybe even a lifestyle maybe even a relationship something that um was cyclical for them also maybe where they had to learn something maybe where they just felt they're feeling bored discontent they're spinning their wheels somewhere now it looks like maybe the transference of energy here you felt like you were spinning your wheels with them and now they feel like they're spinning their wheels with another person place or thing or people or lifestyle it looks like they're going on some journey to find happiness, true happiness, maybe even find themselves. They, they want to tell you that they're finishing something up and they're moving on. They have to finish something up. Like I have to wait for my kids to get in school, get out of school, grow up, sell the house, sell the dog. I don't know. Uh, sell the business. They have to finish something up and then they have to move on. And it's kind of like they're going to be moving on in secrecy. Um, what does Aquarius want to tell this person? What is Aquarius when it's okay? The Hermit card. All right. Aquarius, you maybe want to tell this person. Oh. With the Hermit card, you may be saying, I, uh, you're on some self discovery journey and you need time apart. Um, you also may be just questioning your own personal philosophy. In terms of how you even got here um, you may be just looking at things and saying uh, looking at outcomes what type of outcomes are you getting here are you getting your desired outcome 
therefore you're questioning yourself and you're looking for answers within self and past experience you want the past to illuminate something for you in the present therefore you can move on to your envisioned future so I think right now you may be saying you, you need to be solo. You have ghosted or, you know, kind of taking yourself out of this energy. This is what you're telling your person. You're telling, you could be telling them, yes, I see the emails. I see the phone calls. Um, I feel the vibration of you trying to get in contact with me, but it's not good for me. I have to start putting me first. Okay. Um. Uh, this is what you could be telling your person. Um, let's see what the future energy is for my Aquarius. This is a really good reading. You, you guys have been getting some really good readings lately in love, career and finance. Uh, I think with career and finance, spirit just wants you to get to a certain place so that they can then propel you and push you forward. You know, like um, like a, when you get to the top of the, of the roller coaster, you know, um, and then you just go all the way down. But right now you're in that place of going up that hill, that incline on that roller coaster right now. This is what you're doing in terms of career and finance. And then when you get to the top, spirit's going to take over. Oh, I just got chills. And it's not cold outside. Um, all right, Aquarius, stay in that work energy. Work, work, work. All right, what's coming to Aquarius in love? What is coming for Aquarius in love? What is coming for Aquarius? Okay, very nice. What's coming for Aquarius in love? What's coming for Aquarius in love? What's coming for Aquarius in love? Phew. All right, Aquarius, I think... um. You will be pleased with this energy. And I'll tell you why in the extended reading. I hope that this reading blessed you in some fashion. Um, let me know how it blessed you down in the comment section, okay? Also, this is a premiere, so you could super chat. You could cash app if you wanted to. The cash app is in the chat. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Get in on the full moon manifestation ritual happening. August 22nd, the link is below. Get your own personal reading to pull your personal energy. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings. Take care.